very important. Whatever you do, stand in well and do it very well. You will never go, get ready. You will not go before. Come back and start from where you probably didn't go. I will not stay here much because I'm not sounding well. Look at my friends, look at I'm not guessing this. That's them. That's how bad it is. Veteran Nollywood actor, popularly known as Mr. Ibu, has died. John Okafo was born on October 17, 1961, in Umunekwe village in Eziokwe, in Kano West local government area of Enugu State. His family was the poorest in his hometown in Enugu State. Coming from a family of 10, mother and father inclusive, at the age of 14, he lost his dad and five members of his family to food poisoning, and they were forced to move to their maternal home due to some disaster that happened to their home. When I lost my father, Breeze pulled down our house and we became tenant in our own village. Once you are poor, you are poor. You will be forced to see so many things from another angle. My father stopped training me when I was still very small. And that was how they became father of their own. He started training himself in school and would do different odd jobs just to get money for his school fees and also feed his mom and siblings. I sold firewood, I did hairdressing, I was assembling wooden crates of minerals, I was involved in snapping wood and take pictures, I was a butcher. If you want to kill a goat, cow, pig, etc., I will do it for you, call it to a desired size and take it to your place. I was a hairdresser. Hairdresser, that was the bit I didn't get. Yeah. You were doing women's hair or yeah, you know? Yeah, women's hair. So you can style my hair now? Any kind of style. All, kind, all style. In fact, if I didn't go to work, my office won't get enough money because the girls, all of them needed me. This affected his secondary education because he had to go to different places to finish them. He finished his secondary school in Sapele Technical College, Sapele in Delta State, and went back to the Institute of Management Technology, IMT, Enugu, to study mass communication. Even with the struggle, he already knew acting and comedy was his passion. Because while he was little, he followed his grandfather, Ibu, around the village and watch him make fun of people he would see fighting on the road. It is amazing. Nobody can try that. It is like the life of Jesus Christ. Sometimes, if it gets to where a couple are fighting, a husband and wife, even if the wife is beating the husband and crying, he will tell them to wait for him to adjudicate. He will get a big branch of a palm tree, chase a goat, chase a fowl, and before you know it, they will start laughing. And before he could notice, his grandfather's attitude hypnotized him, and he would find himself acting stupid among friends. And people would begin reading meaning into anything he does. His face, his eyes, wherever he looked at him, even without doing anything, they would start laughing. And that was why he took after his grandfather's name, Ibu. My grandfather was better than myself. So, your grandfather, my grandfather was better than me. In fact, I'm learning. From he me. was very funny. <laughs> that man. Even though John made everyone laugh with his funny antics, his own life was no joke. Behind the smiles, he faced a lot of struggles and hardship. His laughter brought joy to others, but he hid the pain he silently carried. Beside his own battles, he kept spreading happiness, turning his personal sorrows into a source of strength for those around him. In the 1970s, he got inspired into acting while watching soap opera commercials. We remember seeing actors in prominent television programs and asking, where will I be the person people will be watching on the television? Between 1977 and 78, he began to play cameo roles in TV series. And even though his face was not shown, it was a big achievement for him. The official started acting at the age of 17 in Benin City, December 1978. At first, he wasn't interested in the money. His main goal was just to act and put his face on the minds of people. He would pick up any role and act just to gain recognition. This was how he continued for 10 years until he crossed paths with the legendary Solomon Eze, also known as Mike Urihe Demma, who was the first man that started producing Igbo Nollywood movies in the Southeast, well known for the movie Chibu Eze and Broken Tears. Mike gave him a role in the movie Roaring Stone, an Igbo flick released in 1994, and this was where his career began. Yet, despite his efforts, financial success eluded him, and he found himself broke, relying on the kindness of his best friend for a place to stay. This struggle persisted until December 18, 1997, at Ajao Estate, Lagos, when the weight of the world seemed unbearable. In that dark moment, he contemplated ending his own life. 
my best friend disappointed me and pushed me out of his house. I had nothing on me. I had only 20 naira, home and abroad. He was depressed and felt he was downcasted by life and tried to drown himself on the well but couldn't. He went back and leaned on the wall thinking about his life. It was at this moment his friend's neighbor was playing the song by Michael Bolton, When I'm Back on My Feet Again, which is a nice song by the way. Gonna break these chains around me, gonna learn to fly again. Maybe hard, maybe hard, but I will do it when I'm back on my feet again. Soon these tears will be all drying, soon these eyes will see the sun. Might take time, might take time, but I will see it when I'm back on my feet again. That day, I was crying all through, but on the tone of the tears, I was praying. Nowhere to go. The song gave him solace, and he found out that killing himself wasn't going to solve his problem. So he got up, packed his things, left, and went into the street. When one door closes, another door opens. John was quite down and trying to keep his head up, but what John didn't know was that his life was about to change forever. During his walk on the street, he came across a place where people were gathered and it turned out to be an audition for a movie. This was where he met Betty Doshi and a female friend who serendipitously linked him up with his old time friend that just came back from London. That's how I traced that guy who was in the house. He left for Germany, he came back yesterday. And I know the spirit that brought him back yesterday was mine. The guy came out and said, Ibu, wherever you are living in this Lagos, you will pack out today and come and stay here. One room is here for you. After that, things started turning around for John. He got a role in the movie Agony that came out 1998. I think this was the movie that he saw the audition before he met his friend because he said he met Peter Doshi and in that movie, Pet was among the cast. Even Ramsey Noah was very young in that movie. That Ramsey don't hold for this Nollywood. This was the movie that put his name in the limelight and it was produced under Zelex Nigerian Limited. From there, he made a guest appearance in the movie Vuga 2000. <laughs> but before then, he married his first wife Ngozi, which I'm still going to talk about later. What is it? I want peace. You want peace? Yes. You want peace as well? We want this. John was not yet seen by fans as a promising prodigy. Until movies like Uncle Wafa 2002, Police Recruit 2003, Nicodemus 2004 and his most iconic movie, Mr. Ibu, released in 2004. Papa, why is it that whatever we do, people must complain? Yeah, because whatever you do in this world, people must talk. The movie Mr. Ibu automatically made him a superstar in the Nollywood industry. This movie gave the name Mr. Ibu a bold description. The father-son relationship with Mr. Ibu and Popo Osita Ihime is memorable. They lived like cat and mouth in most days. It was so intense that Mr. Ibu had to wrap his son up and presented him as a wedding gift to a relative. This film also gave us the popular Popo's Biggie Biggie rap lines. Biggie Biggie, heavy heavy, baby do you want me? In my opinion, this film is a Nollywood classic. From there, henceforth, any movie Mr. Ibu produced, acted in, or appeared on as a guest actor was a huge fun to watch. It was written by Andy Chuku. I think the first movie I saw Mr. Ibu was in a Sakaba movie, part 3 and part 4. Man, that was when Nollywood movies they sweet. I don't know for now, shall we? Anime have messed up my head so badly. Anyways, if I'm to start mentioning Mr. Ibu's filmography, now let me say we're not going to finish this video today. But I'm going to list my top 10. Let me know about yours in the comments. Mr. Ibu, Mr. Ibu in London, Chase Liverpool, Civil War, Police Recruit, The Fool at 40, Paris priest mr ibu goes to school recharge card and 200 more of where that come from you see unlike hollywood where quality is scale over quantity nollywood is known for its high output producing thousands of films each year many of these films are lower budget and shorter length compared to typical hollywood production allowing actors to appear in more films over a shorter period of times mr ibu is particularly loved for his comedic roles and there is a high demand for his styles of humor with time, his name started becoming a household name in not just Nigeria but also in Africa. And climbing the ladder of social, Mr. Ibu have also paved way for upcoming artists we all are seeing today. You know the acted in World Apart? Yes. And that World Apart Great was movie. my homework. My homework because I had to go in with the man that owes the work. Hmm. 
and paved way at Jews in Nedo. I collected her from Enugu to Anicha to the man and then the script was given to her. Mr. Evil's lasting impact in the film industry is seen in his fight against piracy and his vision for positive change. Let it stop, please. Let piracy stop in this country. We will watch you finish your work. He will come and meet you privately and say, are you the one that produced that work? Yes, I say, I'm interested. You say, okay, no problem. You begin to leak the secret of the work to him, thinking that he's a nice person. Before you know it, you go to the studio and pick your work and market it. He also ventured into music in October 2005 and released two singles. One titled This Girl, where he was whining about a girl that ate his money and refused to, you know what I mean. And Do You Know, featuring Day the One Day, which is more popular because This Girl was a Nibu song and Do You Know was made with Persian English. At this time, Nollywood actors making music then was like a trend. Like people like Nkemo and Mama G were killing us with hit songs, I swear. The emperor, the conqueror, the champion, the lion is here. My name is John Ikechikwoka from Mr. Ibu. In 2023, Mr. Ibu set out to celebrate his 40 years on screen as an actor. But before then, in 2022, we kind of like saw a career revival roller coaster of him. Immediately after he recovered his Instagram account from a hacker, which his daughter, or should I say adopted daughter, Trauma Jasmine, says she helped him with. From there on, his fans started getting lots of fun time and events with him. He got featured on different Instagram skits and would be seen on different YouTube videos or TikTok trends with Jasmine. It was so memory refreshing, reminding us of how great of an actor he was and still is. And so entering 2023, he continued with the skit and started making plans about the celebration of his 40 years on screen as an actor, placed on the 3rd of September 2023. We are here to celebrate Mr. Ibu John Oka for 40 years on screen. It was a memorable moment for fans and fellow actors. Everyone wished him well and more life. We'll continue to keep you alive in the mighty name of Jesus. But nobody knew this was going to be the last time we would celebrate with Miss Tibo. One month later, after the celebration of his second birthday on the 17th of October 2023, Miss Tibo celebrated his birthday in the hospital with his wife and kids. Oh, by the way, he has starting children. We are about 13 or two. So her kids are not only children, children. But unfortunately, this was not the first time Mr. Bo's life has been on the line or even in the hospital. Apart from being on the screen for 40 years, Mr. Bo has actually encountered life-threatening situation more than any regular human being should. From being kidnapped more than twice, he even lost his son on one occasion. I'm a regular customer of kidnappers. They'll kidnap me, they'll kidnap my family, my in laws. Wow. My son, they kidnapped 2011 and released after 10 days. He died the same January 2012. To so being poisoned uncountably, even by people around him. They brought a first poison here, I took it. I was traveling around here, vomiting. Nobody came to ask. Even the workers did not enter here, even though they were hearing me fall around. Actually, before his Instagram account was recovered from the hacker in 2022, he was just recovering from a poison attack in an event in Abuja. Omo, leave same stable for you. But this one no funny. So when people saw another video of him in the hospital, best believe they thought he was poisoned again. I mean, he just celebrated his 40 years on screen. But no, this time it was different. He was seriously ill. One user even commented as if he knew exactly what was about to happen. Happy birthday sir. Please PA or whoever that is in charge of this page. Please pay attention to this my comment. I saw his leg. You guys need to fly Mr. Ibu out of Nigeria. If you ask me, I will say Europe as soon as possible. Because that leg is drying daily. There is no blood flow to that leg. That's why it's turning black. That is caused by diabetes. The earlier, the better. Nigerian hospitals don't have any solution to that problem. I lost my mother last because of that in Nigeria. They keep giving false hope and collecting money at the end. We lost our mother. You guys need to fly him to European hospital. They will revive that leg. Can you take my advice, please? As soon as possible, fly him to Europe. They will even give documents to stay here for treatment. It's easy to see this as just a comment, but everything in this comment seemed to have happened exactly the way this user was scared it will. Because the next day, after the video of Mr. Ibo reaching out for prayers and financial support, which his supporters heavily turned up for, he had to go through seven surgeries that still led to the amputation twice on one of his legs, with doctors stating the needs to increase the chances of survival. He was also tagged, not fit to fly, just like the comments. Even behind the scenes, his family seemed to have been in a fierce battle and accused one another for wanting to embezzle the money raised by the members of the public. Oh, it was unbearable, not just for John Okafor, 
but also for supporters praying for him to recover. Mr. Abel's health rollercoaster continued. He suffered a cardiac arrest, leaving the Actors Guild of Nigeria in mourning. He died on the 2nd of March, 2024. John Okafor's situation has brought up questions. Why did actor, similar wealth, need public assistance for their health care? But the truth is that pay rates in Hollywood vary widely and private medical care could be prohibitively expensive. The lack of structure in the industry has turned back to start eating up our actors and this is painful. These actors are old and we barely have strength to take any role to pay their bills and have to face their problems alone. The Steven has been an inspiration that brought smiles not just to me but also to my family and Nigerians. His presence will forever be missed and this is what he would like you to hear. If you are a man, do not shake the ladder you used to grow up. Just know that as your client, there are many others in that ladder coming up. If you have sense, come back and give them hand. Drag as many as you can. Drag them up. Because if you walk away and then they manage to climb and come to the same place, by them you will fall. As you are falling back, they will give you a chance. You will fall and right? go meet the same ladder. Or where, where. <laughs> but if you drag people up, drag as many as you can, so that as you forge ahead, if there's any reason for you to slack back, ah, you see people who hold you, that they no, 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 you can't. Life uh -uh. is not in the pattern. As you are doing your own, give a little advice to young ones. Give them way. Provide <laughs> an atmosphere where people will come to know more about life. Thank you for watching. Comment down below on what actor or entertainer you would like me to make a video on next. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and following my channel for more videos like this.